a firepower board pair or system six board pair and this pair is going into a prototype firepower that will be available for play at pinball expo in a few weeks so what i have done to this board pair is replaced all the headers all the way around all the sockets cpu socket three rom sockets 6810 socket 5101 socket installed nv ram these are new roms for the green ROMs and the Firepower Combo ROM. If you use the Firepower Combo ROM, you can get rid of, or you can avoid replacing these three sockets. <clears throat> There's the procedures outlined in the pin wiki, but part of it is installing these two 1N4148 diodes at this location. I've added a blanking indication, and on the driver board, I have replaced the headers all the way around, and we get to the point where we are testing it, <clears throat> so I have tested all the capabilities of these two boards, except the, and, and I've tested the switch matrix too, but watch what happens here. I'm going to connect um, pin one to pin five in the switch matrix. And you can see it's returning everything that's on row one over and over again. Now I've seen this before. Uh, and the issue is usually, well, it's almost always because there's nothing left. One of these switch matrix drive transit or drive ICs, these are 7406s, 4049s. This is the 6821 that handles all of the switch matrix. So I'm going to use my logic probe to test the drives or the returns of the switch matrix. And you can see these are all high. And that is normal. Now here's the switch matrix drives, or typically referred to as the columns. And you can see that's pulsing high. It's high pulsing, I guess I should say, except for this pin. And that is going to turn out to be the problem, I'm fairly sure. So this pin attaches to pins 1 and 2 of the 7406, actually pin 2 of the 7406. So you can see that pin 2 is low. And pin one is pulsing like it should be. So that's not correct. If I do the same thing for the other 7406, which is driving other columns, pin one is pulsing just like pin one of this one. And pin two is pulsing high. So we've definitely got a problem with this 7406. So out it's going to come, put a socket in there, and we'll see where we get to. Here's the 7406 that I removed from the board with my chip tester. Clearly, it can't identify it, so it reports an error. And in fact, this chip has failed. And we are back with the Firepower board pair, booted successfully. I have the lamp matrix tester connected now and the coil tester. And the only coil that's on is the coin lockout coil. So let's put it through all the tests. I, the switch matrix problem has been corrected by cleanly removing the 7406, installing a socket and installing a brand new 7406. And shout out to Ed at Great Plains Electronics, where I got most of my parts from. Ed is uh, gonna sell the business. I thank Ed for years and years of fantastic service. He was the best packer of parts in all of industry. I hope his website remains up because I use it frequently to track down substitutions and things like that. So the UPS guy must be here. That's my dog upstairs. We can see that display test is working perfectly. And then we go to lamp test and it is working perfectly. And by the way, this prototype firepower will have the drop targets installed and I don't remember if special software is required to support those or not but um, I will research that before I send this board set back. These are the special solenoids being executed right now and I have a little dongle set up where I can also fire the special solenoids via the switch inputs that are on the game also. And there are six of those, and there they are. 
there's my little dongle. Also test soundboard sounds. So let's skip to the switch matrix again. <clears throat> test three is the switch matrix. I use my Pinitech tester to go through column one. And this will really show where the issue is fixed. You, before, when I went through row one, it would get stuck and sort of report all of the switches in row one anytime I pressed a switch in row one. So 58 is the last switch on firepower. And so we advance into the audits section. Let's see, 18 now. I don't remember how to advance that right now. So I'm gonna skip through that, but I will set this to free play before I send it back to the client. All right, thank you so much for sending it. I look forward to testing out this thing, giving it a great test in the tournament section at uh, Pinball Expo.